Well, hello everyone, it's Miss Rachel. It's so good to be here doing church online with you. I am so thankful that we can still meet even though we can't actually see each other. Last week, we learned that we can trust God because he loves us and he gave us the greatest gift of all, Jesus. And this week, this week, we're gonna hear a story about a guy named Joshua and his battle against Jericho. God gives Joshua a big, huge job. And when you hear this story, you might scratch your head and think, hmm, that plan seems a little weird. Well, we're gonna find out what happens to Joshua when he presses play and trusts God. But first, yes, first, we need to review our bottom line for this month. Do you remember it? It's so great. All week I was reminding myself to do this and it just made my day so much better. Raise your hand if you remember it. That is awesome. If you know it, say it with me. I can trust God. Let's say it again. I can trust God. That's right. Who can trust God? I can trust God. No matter what, I can trust God. Tell me again, who can trust God? I can trust God, and you can too. That's like the best news I've heard all day. Good things happen when we trust God. This reminds me of our memory verse. Maybe you remember it from last week. I will say it first, and then you guys join in with me, okay? Here we go. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Now let's do it together. Are you ready? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalms 56, 11. Let's do it one more time. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. That was so great. Our memory verse is a lot like our bottom line, isn't it? I mean, it really is. I love the second part of the verse. You know the part that says, I am not afraid? Isn't it great that when we trust God, we don't have to be afraid? Knowing this verse reminds me how good God is and makes me want to press play and trust him every day. Who can trust God? I can trust God. You did great saying your verses. Great job. And now it is time for my favorite part of the day. Let's worship. Everybody stand up and let's sing. He's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad. for 
you to sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. That was awesome. I love worshiping Jesus with you. Can you believe that it's already time to hear our true story from the Bible? So I already told you that it's about Joshua and this super big thing. Yep, it's a big wall. And God tells Joshua that he, Joshua, needs to lead the people into the city of Jericho behind that wall. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a hard thing to do. Let's just think for a minute. What kind of plan would you have to knock down a big wall? Hmm. For me, I think I would need this. That's right, a hammer. Yep, I'd need everyone to have tools. Let's watch our story and see what actually happens. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun. I'm Lucy, and my grandma gave us this music player for the clubhouse. Melody? Good morning. Can you please play us some marching music? Playing marching music? How cool is that? I love marching music, so I bought these rhythm sticks to keep time. Can you use your hands and clap along with me? Hands up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's great. Now let's go slow. One, two, three, four. Now let's go super fast. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Woof, you guys did great. You can put your hands down now. 
It's marching music is so much fun. Sometimes I imagine what it would be like to lead a real marching band. Wow, how amazing would that be? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Marching around in time, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I love marching music so much. Marching is lots of fun. Who? Who? So I've got a marching story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Ooh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. And look what I've got today. It's a ram's horn. It's like a trumpet for our story. And boy, is it a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Joshua. Now Joshua was the leader of God's army. One day, God told Joshua that he was going to take the city of Jericho. Except, look, the city of Jericho had a huge wall that went all the way around it. It was big, it was strong, and the city was very hard to get into. I don't understand. How can Joshua and his army take the city if there's a huge wall around it? But Joshua trusted that God's plan would work. God told Joshua to take horns like this and march around the big wall blowing trumpets one time a day for six days. What? Blow trumpets in March? <laughs> Joshua didn't understand how God's plan would work, but Joshua trusted God anyway. <laughs> so Joshua gathered his army and got ready to march around the big wall. Everyone stand up. Now get ready to march in place and blow your pretend trumpets. Ready, go! March, 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 march. They march on day one. They march on day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. And then stop. That was awesome marching. You can sit down now. Great job. <laughs> On day seven, God said, I want you to march around the wall seven times. Then when Joshua says go, give a loud shout. Okay, but not until Joshua says go. <laughs> so Joshua still didn't understand. How would shouting and trumpets break down a wall? But Joshua trusted God. So they started marching around the city. Ooh, can you count with me? They marched around the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Joshua said, go. Everybody shout. wall came down. They won. Great job, everyone. Woohoo! Wow. God is amazing. Sometimes we may not understand how God's plan will work, but we can trust God. 
Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Joshua trusted God's plan, so he went for a long march. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Joshua trusted God's plan and marched around the walls, and they fell down. I can trust God's plan too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Maybe God has a plan for me to lead a marching band sometime. I better keep practicing. Melody, play another march, please. Playing marching music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So it turns out that God's plan didn't include this. Nope, God's plan was for the people to march around the wall and play horns. And even though Joshua didn't totally understand what God was doing, he trusted God and he did what God said to do. And it worked, the walls came tumbling down. God's plans are the best plans. We learned last week that we can trust God because he loves us. In today's story, we saw another reason to trust God. We can trust God because he gives us good plans. That makes me want to dance and shout, I can trust God. Who can trust God? Let's say it together. I can trust God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that we can trust you even when we don't understand. Help us to trust you and do what you say, just like Joshua did. You are so worthy of our trust because you love us so much and we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today at LifeGate Kids at Home. Don't forget to have an adult download the activity page for today. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you guys later.